Welcome back. Welcome back to whichever part this is. I've, I've lost fucking count now. This started out as a simple video to help someone out and it's turned into a fucking tight course. But anyhow, we're now going to look at the numbering system, which sounds incredibly fucking boring. Because really, it's not really of any use. It doesn't help you pass the exam, does it? Because it's not going to answers in. But it is. It is the ultimate, as it says on the screen there, it's the ultimate referencing system. It's a way that me and you can communicate on the telephone and we can talk to each other and speak about exactly the same thing because we've got this numbering system going off. It is how to use the book correctly. It is the pinnacle of how to use the book correctly because it breaks it down to small sections and exposes the path to from the large section, which you're going to see. I'll say it again. Never, ever use page numbers because the page numbers in this book, yeah, do not correspond to the page numbers in the blue book. But a reg number in this book corresponds to a reg number in the blue book. They are enable you to do cross-referencing, which is a very powerful tool as you move on. Maybe you're not interested now, but I assure you, if you start to associate things with the right numbering system, when the new regs comes out, it means you haven't got to change anything, which will be incredibly useful to you. And the best bit about it is, you already know this system anyway, as I'm going to go on to on the next slide, when I've stopped and blown my nose because I've got mad A fever. i have blown my nose now. You decide whether I've got A fever or I'm back on the biller. Who fucking knows? Anyhow. I was saying, you already know this system. Why do you already know this system? Well, you know these systems, for example. You went to the bottom one. The bottom one is mine. But, City and Guilds, which is the exam you're going to take, are on 5 to 6, Guildspur Street, London, UK, E1A, 9DAE. So what we can do is, if we work backwards from that, we know that they're in the UK. Because part of the address is the UK. We can further reduce that geographical area because they're in London. Great stuff. Now, the address is a bit shit here, and I don't profess to know this address, I just picked it random because it fitted the thing, but we know they're in London. Now, what will help here is a suburb of London. I'm assuming that means central London. I don't think it does, though, because EC18, wherever that is. I'm not going to look, but to reduce it further, we know they're on Giltspur Street, and to reduce it even further, we know they occupy buildings five to six. That is a numbering system although it's not really numbering, that I'm sure you are all familiar with and all understand. The ne next one is this one, is the date one. 30th 0522, the 30th day of the 5th month of the 22nd, 20 and 22nd year. I'm not going to explain the date to you, everyone understands that. That is a numbering system that everyone can use, and how much easier does that make it than writing down the month, just for that example. The bottom one is my invoice numbering system. <laughs> Fucking A fever. I'm going to cut this. <laughs> the bottom one. I'm back by the way. Nice to see you. The bottom one is my invoicing number system. To you, it won't mean anything. But to me, it means something. And that's what all numbering systems are like. To the person that utilises them, they are useful. If you don't know what they mean, they are not useful. So in the case of the regs, it's going to pay for you to get to know what it means. And that's what we're going to talk about in this section. So on that invoice number there, I can tell you exactly about it. For a start, the first four numbers are the tax year. So from, t from next week, I'll be using the numbers 2023, which means it's in my 2023 tax year, the tax that my year ends. 0522 means the job was started in the fifth month, May of 22, the customer number is 37, which is Bodget and Scarper Builders, and it's 01 job, the first job. So the next job for them will be 2023-0522-3702. The other customers have got their own number, so 37 would change. So I understand the system. So it really, really works for me. The problem is it doesn't really work for you because you don't understand it. Well, it's exactly the same with the regs book numbering system. So let's have a look at the regs book numbering system and see if we can remove all the mystery surrounding it and just look at our... Are you fucking real? There was nobody at the door but some attractive lady dogs walking past, weren't there? Just in case you didn't know. 
I have a, a massive German Shepherd in here with me at all times when I'm recording these things. Anyhow, you're not here for that. You're here to understand the regulation numbering system, which we'll move on to now. So, we've talked about addresses and dates and numbers and that we understand them. Now, let's familiarise ourselves with BS7671 and the numbering system that is used. And we see it all the time like that one there. There's a, I don't even know if that's a reg. It just says 643.7.3. And along the bottom, it explains it for you. The part is part six. Straight away, Bosch, inspection and testing. The four is the chapter. The three is the section of that chapter. The seven indicates the subsection after the dot. And the three after the dot is the actual regulation. I don't expect you to understand that now. But what I expect to do is screenshot that and keep coming back to it until you understand it. And every time you find a reg, look at the number and analyse it a little bit and go, oh yeah, I'm in part six, chapter four, section three, subsection seven, or whatever. I can't explain to you any more than that. But once you use it with the book, which is what we're here to do, it will make much more sense. There are, however, other little ditties going on with this numbering system, which I'll go into now. So... There's an additional numbering system hidden within the regs. These are regulation numbers that contain a reference to an additional regulation in BS 76M1. For example, this one, 701, Special Locations, Section 7. Uh, number 1, I think it's Container Bath or shit. No, it's not. It's, I can't remember. But I th oh, fuck. Well, I'm not going to look. But it's seven Special Locations, yeah? Then it makes a reference to dot 415. That's another regulation in Section 4. Um, protection for safety. And then you've got regulation two relate to that. So there, you'll spot those numbers a mile when you see them if you know how to recognise them. You've got a regulation from section seven referencing the regulation in section four and it's the second regulation of them. Again, I'm not going to explain them. It doesn't really make a lot of difference learning the regs, but when you see them, you start to spot them and that's what makes it easy. Like, oh, if something's not answered in this 701, maybe I should look in 415. That's how I use it. That's why our numbering system's there. The numbering system is there to help you, not hinder you. Then we have an additional numbering system again, where we have this 100 on the end. So that one's, for example, is 704.522.8.101. The 100 number recommends us... I don't even know what that fucking means. Senlec. Yeah, harmonisation, document reference, some European shit. And one at the end like that, 433.1.202, the 200 number designation represents that it's a specific UK regulation only. I don't find that one matters that much, but it's just nice to know that they're there. Maybe they'll bring out a 300 series or a 400 series in the future, but keep an eye out for them. Remember these screens are here, screenshot them. Just remember that 100 ending prefixes, a cell snack, whatever it is, I can't fucking pronounce it, 200 ending things, UK only. UK only example might be, I don't know, there might be something about a plug in there that's specific to the UK only, something like that, or, or pull cords, or some of the mad shit we have in the UK that no one else has. But bear in mind there, it's not rocket science. And that is it on the numbering system. It's not, it's not crazy hard. you just got to remember that basically to take out of it is this, the part, the chapter, the section, the subject, and the regulation. It doesn't matter now, but it will matter to you when you're going through books. Because if you look at a reg now, Fucking hell, this is an interesting, Reg. I'm in my exam. Let me just quickly make a note of it. 643.7.3. When you look back at it later as a note, you're like, oh, that's in part six. That's inspection and testing. Chapter four, section three, subsection seven, regulation three. It always miffed me, and I didn't really worry about it, but it, it makes it easier for me now. And remember, when you're flicking through the book, say you want to get to, uh, I don't know, regulation 412. So you start flicking through, looking at the regulation numbers. I'm in 432 already, believe it or not. So I'm flicking back. Oh, there's the 412s and I've got their lock. Yeah, don't use the page numbers. The difference to remember is that the page numbers do go up sequentially. So you've got page three, page four, page five, page six. The thing that people use page for is because it's easy to guess where the middle of the book is. And where the, where the centre of the numbers are. But with regs books, you've got to train your brain. With regulation numbers, should I say. You've got to train your brain a little bit more to find them. There'll be like a load of section. Yeah, you know, that's 412. Already on 413. Already on 414. Already on 417. So it's jumped two there. Already on 418. 
So they don't follow 422 suddenly jump to. They don't follow sequential order. But they will, I assure you, make using the regulations easier if you continue to always use the regulation numbers over page numbers and that you understand the structure, which is on the screen now, of how the numbering system is formatted. Very boring, this one. Can't really get much fun out of it because it's all intent and all telling you how to do it. But I assure you, it will help you. See you in the next one, which hopefully will be a bit more fucking interesting than this one because this one was bollocks.